Here we are everyone, and here's something you didn't know. This movie was gonna come out on the same day as Captain America Civil War, but the fact that it got pushed up to March is the reason that I do videos. The very first video I did on Marvel movies versus DC movies was because of the fact that this movie got pushed up from early May to late March. So yeah, this movie is part of the reason that I make YouTube videos. And now we're here. <laughs> Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice. So Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice is a movie that a lot of comic book fans have been looking forward to for decades. It's the follow up to Man of Steel and it is exactly what it sounds like. It is the Dark Knight going up against the Man of Steel, they clash, and it is the intro to the DC Extended Universe. And just letting you know right now there is no post credit scene, this ain't Marvel. Now of course a lot of people were scared about this movie for really good reasons because of a lot of things that are shoehorned and that was kind of a fear I had as well. It wasn't a huge fear but it was there. This this movie surprised me in the best way possible. This movie was fantastic. It was miles ahead of Man of Steel. So much better. Zack Snyder, the director of Man of Steel, definitely took the complaints about that film to heart and fixed those in Batman v Superman. First of all, the film has a pretty dark tone. There is humor in here, but a lot of it is pretty serious and really intense. In a good way. All the new characters that were introduced in this film were awesome. Ben Affleck is Batman. People have asked me if I like him better than Christian Bale's Batman. I can't really say. The two are so different from each other. I can't say one is better than the other. That being said, Ben Affleck was awesome. He killed it. The one I was worried most about was Jesse Eisenberg as Lex Luthor. When I first heard he was cast, I didn't really like it, but he grew on me. In fact, he's a really interesting character. I'm not gonna get all spoilerish, but the things Lex does in this movie are really unexpected. You don't see it coming. I really like that. Even Lois Lane in this movie is a lot better than she was in Man of Steel. She actually has a role to play in this film, and it worked out really well. And one of the biggest surprises about Batman v Superman is Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman. She kicked ass! I was already mega excited about Wonder Woman being in this movie because we haven't seen a live action Wonder Woman since 1979. All I can say is that Diana Prince kicked so much ass, I am so looking forward to Wonder Woman's solo movie. Now the action in this movie was perfect because they did dial it down a bit. You have of course the big Batman versus Superman fight and it's awesome. They do have a legitimate explanation as to how Batman actually stands a chance against Superman. Right when they explain it, you completely buy it. And it's a great fight, man. Part of me wishes it did last a little longer, but I love what I got. And of course there is a lot of destruction in this movie. You saw in the trailer, buildings were getting blown up again, but it's not as prominent here as it was in Man of Steel. They kind of kept it contained and I actually really like that. And the movie plays straightforward, yay! The scenes aren't all out of order. They're chronological. That was one of my biggest problems with Man of Steel, and I am so glad they fixed that here. This movie really is the dawn of justice. Again, no spoilers. Aside from seeing Batman and Superman and Wonder Woman all fighting alongside each other, there is set up for the Justice League, and it's awesome. This is the DC Universe come to the big screen for all of us, and it is exactly what you want it to be. At least it's what I've always wanted to see. My only real complaint about this movie is that sometimes Batman would do things that I'm not really sure the character would do in most lore. I'll explain further in my spoilers spoiler video, but it did have me scratching my head. Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice had great characters, great action, great story. I personally can't think of a better way to set up the DC Extended Universe for the big screen. Guys, I am so glad to give the movie this rating because I will say, go see this movie right now. So Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice, have you seen it? What did you think about it? Whatever you think, go ahead and leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe.